everyone and welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be talking about manipulating patterns. Once you know how to manipulate a pattern, you can basically create any pattern you like. Today I'm just going to go over some very basic ways to manipulate your pattern to change the design of what you're doing. Um, I won't go into a lot of depth or detail. If you want more information on manipulating your patterns, again, I would recommend getting this book, Principles of Flat Pattern Design by Nora M. McDonald. It has lots of examples on how to manipulate patterns. It has step-by-step -step instructions on how to make certain things look certain ways. Um, so there's some different styles that it talks about, and then it goes through and it will kind of show you different ways to manipulate those patterns to make it look the way you want it to. For the sake of this video, I have two practice sized bodice pieces. If you would like to practice with these miniature pieces, you can follow the link below to the Google Doc and print these out for practice. So the first thing you need to do when manipulating a pattern is remember, don't ever do these steps directly on your sloper. You need to trace your sloper and use pattern paper to do these manipulations. So once you have the pattern you're going to use to manipulate, the first thing you have to do is cut out your darts. Dart manipulation is going to be your main form of bodice manipulation or any pattern manipulation because darts are what create the fitted appearance of a top. If you don't like darts and you want a top without darts, it's possible to have those, but they will either not be form fitted or will have more seams than just the two side seams. So we're going to work mainly with our dart manipulation to change the layout and appearance of our bodice. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is with your back bodice, create a mark halfway between your two dart points. Now we're going to make a cut from the point of each dart to that mark you just made. Do not cut all the way through it because you want your pattern to stay together. Just cut to it so that it can work as a hinge. With your front bodice, you're going to do the same thing, but you're just gonna take those points to the bust point, which should already be marked on your pattern. Remember, don't cut directly through it because you don't want your pieces to come apart. So now our darts are made so that they can rotate and be moved. So one of the easiest ways to do dart manipulation is to just close up a dart you don't want. So say we're working with the back of our bodice and we don't like this top shoulder seam. We think it's weird or ugly or whatever. What you're going to do is you're simply going to rotate from your cut and close that dart so that it is no longer there. Now when you cut it out, the dart in your waist is going to be a little bit wider, but that will still create the fit that you need to fit the curve of your back. Likewise, if you don't want a waist dart, you can close that waist dart and have a larger shoulder dart, which will, again, change the appearance of your bodice. If you don't want darts at all, you can cut through that point, and now you have a seam. And those darts would close up naturally as you match all the points to create a seam, and that would give the curve that you need to fit your back. Now that's just a few examples of different manipulations you can do with a back curve with your darts. Again, there are lots of different things. You can move darts to your arm. You can move them around to the side. There's lots of different things you can do. With the front of your bodice, it's the exact same concept. If you don't like the side dart, we can close it. If you don't like the waist dart, we can close it. If you don't like either of those darts and you want to move your dart completely, that's an option as well. One very popular dart is called the French dart and that comes from the corner side seam of your waist and what you would do is you'd cut that mark and then you close up the waist, you close up the side and the dart comes from that bottom corner, still creating the curve and fit that you need to make sure that your fabric will lay nicely around your bust. Another option, of course, is still to do a seam. And there are lots of different seams that you can do. But one example, we close up this side seam, keep your bottom dart open. Close that French one there. What you would do is you would cut from the bottom waist dart point and then curve it up to that shoulder notch. And now you have a seam that would run down across the bust point to the waist, 
and would create that hug that you need to create a fitted blouse. So those are just a few examples. Like I said, I won't go into a lot of depth, but that's the basics of pattern dart manipulation. Once you know how to manipulate a dart, you can basically create any look you want by knowing where to put the dart. Like I said, there are so many different ways. There are ways to create darts in your neckline that create sort of a pleated effect. There's just so many different things you can do, but once you figure it out, it's so simple. It's all about manipulating your darts. Again, if you're interested in this and you really want to try a lot of things, I would suggest getting the book because it gives you a lot more step-by-step -step instructions. There's also a way to manipulate darts where instead of cutting the pattern piece and retracing it or taping it, you have your sloper and you just rotate it. I find that one to be slightly more difficult and I don't like it as much, so I just cut it because it makes more sense to me. But that's my video for today. It's really short, but it's super simple. That is how you manipulate a pattern to create a different pattern. Um, and it changes the way that your garment looks depending on where your darts are or if you have darts. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Just a couple things, some housekeeping, I guess, some channel housekeeping. Don't forget that book club is coming up. So let me know if you wanna do book club next week or in two weeks. Um, I'm open for either one. So let me know next week or two weeks and a time of day that would work best for you because that's gonna be a live video. Uh, remember the book is Wuthering Heights. We'll discuss that together. A uh, second thing I need opinions on is I want to do a tutorial on how to make a blouse, how to do a bodice, an actual garment. So I need to know what kind of styles you guys are interested in. Otherwise, I'm just gonna do what I wanna do and you'll just have to learn something that I make for me. So let me know if there's a certain style that you're interested in me showing you how to manipulate the pattern and make that specific top. Comment below with those ideas. Let me know when you wanna do book club and thanks for watching.